I don't think it's news to anyone at this point that since the onset of the vid, there has been a gigantic rise in digital marketing. Even without all the statistics out there, you'll see it in a way that shops and restaurants that barely had any online presence before the pandemic are now posting ads on Facebook, constantly updating their Instagram, and even building an e-commerce website. And it's not just retail and consumer shops. You know, for a lot of B2B businesses, they really had to pivot and pour more money into digital marketing because of the usual spaces where they get clients like trade shows, networking events, or face-to-face -face meetings weren't viable for the foreseeable future. Now, we're two years in, vaccines are available, Coachella is back, and things are getting kind of back to normal. But that doesn't mean businesses are abandoning their digital marketing efforts. You know, for a lot of businesses, it just means that they finally realize how profitable doing business online is and it's actually better for them to work with multiple channels. Digital marketing is not slowing down. You know, just because shops are opening up again, it's only going to keep growing in the next years. But what does that mean for your business? The biggest problem that businesses are probably going to face is that since everyone and anyone is out there trying to capture their share of the online market, you know, how do you make yourself stand out? What's up, guys? It's Lori Ochega, founder and CEO of Viral Growth Media, and we help small businesses, solo entrepreneurs grow and scale their businesses through partnership and collaboration. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to our channel and click on that notification button so that you don't miss out on our videos about scaling, marketing, growing your business, and more. So hit the like button and leave a comment so that we can reach more people. With the giant boom in digital marketing over the past years, you can say that there's a bit of oversaturation as far as content goes. Most of the time, it's the same kind of content, just kind of like reshuffled over and over and over again. And it's no longer enough to produce content with tips and advice on this or that issue in your industry. We're not saying those posts have no value, but if you want to set yourself apart from the crowd, you have to do more. So take note of these digital marketing trends that are taking over in 2022. First up, stories. So you set yourself apart from your competition in the industry by offering people something unique, something different from everyone else. And, and that's something is your own story. So don't just give them tips on how to, let's say, take care of skin, right? Like tell them how you discovered it. Tell them how it worked for you. What was your situation before that? And research shows that stories actually make information a lot more memorable compared to just when you're laying out information, like just telling facts. People are 22 times more likely to remember a fact when it's actually told in a story. Next, videos. This this isn't really a surprise as a whole, we're moving towards visual media to engage customers. You see it in a way like TikTok and Instagram reels, they're dominating social media and it's easier to digest, it's entertaining and it's a faster way of getting information. So video marketing allows you to create an emotional bond with your audience, especially if it's vlogs or stories that feature you or people on your team. And likability and trust are two major factors factors in a consumer's decision to do business with you. Third, offer more value instead of offering more discounts. Customers are no longer just interested in dollars off or percentages off products or services. What they want is more value. Instead of offering discounts, think about how you can actually add more value to your current offering, whether that's an additional service or an improved product. Fourth, omni-channel marketing. For a lot of companies, they're just relying on one or two channels to market their business and in, in using a unified omni-channel approach allows you to actually reach customers where they are and with the right messaging that appeals to their needs. And finally, guess what? Values matter. What this pandemic has taught a lot of us is that we need each other to survive and thrive. People want to work with businesses with values. It's not just in the way that you care for your customers, but how you actually 
care for the people around you, you know, for your employees and really for society as a whole. So you have to be sincere about your value because if people discover that it's just a talking head, right? Like it's just lip service. Let's just say, get ready for the backlash. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. We have more in store for you in the upcoming videos. Tell us, you know, what other trends do you think we should have included? Let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.